Vitello truck interior was designed to slightly beat the dimensions of the Toyota Tacoma in every way. So if you've ever sat in one, you kind of have an idea of how it feels to be inside our substantially smaller truck. Here's a few taller folks sitting in the Tello and their thoughts at our launch event. It's not so shabby. Yeah. You have your pre one? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. No, and it's for real? It's yeah, it. Have you been on this side yet? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, really yeah. we're not even greasing the ceiling. That's, that's yeah, pretty darn good. good. Yeah. How are your feet going under there? Oh, like it's good. It looks like you guys fit in your feet. Well. It's better than it's, my other yeah. vehicles. Yeah, so it's good. How is it? Yeah, it's so fine. How are you? Six, uh, six, five. Six, five. How's your legroom? Six, five, two. Look at all this. All this Unbelievable. All this we're most the car. Jacob. How do you feel? Are you comfortable? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. How tall are you again? How tall am I? Yeah. Six ten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how'd it feel? It's there's definitely headroom. I could even like pass my hand above my above really. My head. I definitely fit inside it. Good. Good. While our front mounted wheels have really good approach angles, they're not actually the contact point. The front bumper sticks out an inch past the front wheels, ensuring we pass all FMVSS requirements. Coupled with 10 inches of ground clearance, and yes, this truck is a lot of fun off-road, but the main motivation for positioning the front wheels so far forward is to maximize the space for our battery pack. This allows us to achieve 350 miles of range. Our battery stores more kilowatt hours than a Tesla Model X, despite fitting in a smaller footprint than a Model 3. Safety was the first thing we focused on when making the Tello. Despite what some think, the Tello does have a 14-inch unobtrusive crumple zone, meaning the crumple area isn't cluttered with a heavy, dangerous engine or a frunk, which can make crumple areas behave unpredictably depending on the cargo inside. It should also be mentioned, 14 inches is not even the smallest crumple zone to pass all FMVSS requirements. The current record holder is 12 inches, so we feel confident in achieving a 5-star safety rating. Legal requirements aside, we should also highlight smaller vehicles in general are far less likely to get into minor collisions in the first place. You become a smaller target in general, and it becomes easier to navigate tight spaces. Many minor collisions today are caused by poor visibility, and especially those big trucks trying to navigate tight settings. In the same spirit of avoiding as many accidents as possible, sometimes distracted pedestrians or animals jump in front of drivers on the road, and having a shorter distance between your eyes and the front bumper significantly decrease the likelihood of collision occurring. Even Jay Leno knows this. I mean, I'm sure there's a psychological reason people think you're sitting right here, so, oh my God, in a crash. And I always say, well, you won't get in a crash because that other car is this much longer Mm -hmm. and that would have been hit. You can avoid an accident, right. you know, so it, it works both ways. If this same scenario took place with a massive Ford Maverick, a pedestrian would have been hit. But thanks to the much smaller Tello, you might just get flipped off or yelled at instead of sued. Similarly, sometimes smaller animals or objects may be in the road, which is why downward visibility angle is so important and usually overlooked with large pickup trucks. With our truck, you can easily spot an object around a foot tall when only five feet away. Whereas most cars and SUVs, especially pickup trucks though, have these large hoods which eat in to this visibility, and you wouldn't be able to see that same object under seven feet or more in front of you. Some argue smaller cars don't sell as well, but we firmly believe that's because smaller city cars have always been the most underbuilt. All the negative terms are associated with them. City cars are slower, they have worse range, fewer doors, less practicality. Our goal with the Tello was to prove that you can have great specs, amazing utility in a small footprint, and the more people experience it, the more we're noticing they start to realize it. Fitting in more places is a huge selling point, not a detriment. Parking becomes much easier, the vehicle becomes more energy efficient, and even service becomes far more affordable. 
We're making navigating tight spaces much easier and giving your garage space back. Feel free to drop other questions and concerns you guys have about the Tello down in the comments below. We're planning more events for you guys to come out and experience the Tello truck in person in the not too distant future. Until then, we'll see you next time.